welcome back as we delve back into our financial discussion around financial archetypes. And South Africans are, are facing severe financial stress, all of us. And I'd like to believe that we are all trying our best to do better, to make better money choices. Doc is still with us. He's blown me away with this understanding of self through money archetypes, which is great because it simplifies Absolutely. how we can approach our financial yeah. journey. So very quickly, if you can, I know there are a few, but can you just run us through again to remind us some of those money archetypes? Yeah, so we talk of uh, the big spender. Yeah. We talk of the gifter. We talk of the carer. We talk of the big shot. And really, they're just trying to capture a dominant thing about what drives one spending, what drives their relationship with money. And of course, the viewers can think about their own journeys and which one do they think they fit in there? And, and no one is bad. Absolutely. In excess, yes. anyone is and bad. Excess, <laughs> we have a little bit of each. We have a dominant <coughs> one, there right? But go. we've got a little bit of each. So for example, you know, for me, if I just think of my own relationship mm. with money, my dominant is the carer. So this is somebody say, I must look after myself, but Hence I must also job. help others. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, right? So we have a dominant one. Um, I love it. I think I'm a bit of a dreamer. Yeah. I think I've always been a dreamer. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so how that... do I use my skills to generate income? That's yeah, and how do I use my income? Because I want to be rich so I can Correct. be more good. With it's my as income, simple as that. Yes. It's, I get that. All of that being said, these yeah. are wonderful notions. How do we change? <laughs> yeah. How do we change? No, how do we, how do we maximize the good? and do less of the bad. How do we address this? I think three key, three key things for us. So a lot of research we do around people and money at NetBank has shown us the following. One, it's very difficult to change on your own. Okay. Right? So you need some sort of accountability partner, Graham. So think about any change that you have done in your life. Just having someone who holds you accountable to what you said you're going to do. When we bring it to finances, often it's just finding a financial planner. Someone who's in your corner, someone who's rooting for you, someone who said, you said you're going to save, you said you're going to do the following, let's just make sure you're doing. So Six any sorry, financial north, planner yeah. would be able to do that. We've got amazing financial planners at NetBank. If you look at the second thing, for example, is coming back to reflecting on what I do with my money. In other words, the more I think about what I do with my money, it confirms I'm a gifter, I'm a carer. Sure. What excess is? What's the dark side? I'm sorry to bring in the dark side. No, right? but you have, but because what is can... the dark side of my money archetype? So as we look at that, you know what is the dark side and you are able to change. You've got that warning light that comes on, whether it's intuitive or whether it's very obvious <laughs> in your apps, or whatever, yeah. however you and set that up. And yeah. can where you see that as my third offer? It's your credit report. Mm. Because the credit report doesn't lie. Yeah. It tells you this is where you are swiping, this is where you are spending. So by looking at your credit report, you also can see, my goodness, indeed, this is my money archetype. This is what I can do about it only if it's excessive. It says it confirm who you are. There's nothing wrong with that. I love that. And, and, and you guys have made it a lot easier. The money app. With, yeah, on the money app, you can get it. You, you can, can access money. it. And I'll tell you something. Not so lucky when you're going through the tough times, yeah. but when you've, done, when you've made the right choices, yeah. when you've kind of reached these milestones and you start to see a good credit kind of profile, there is, it is like the ultimate validation. It's like I'm a grown-up and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Absolutely. I love this. We are not alone. We are often within family models. We are often combining money archetypes together as partners. Couples. Yeah, yeah so there's, and often we're in an environment with others. That's with others. You're never alone. Um, how do you get the best out of each other in a partnership? What is that conversation look? Because it's starting to feel more like a psychological conversation Absolutely. than it is about a financial one, this. yeah. But emotions drive money. Emotions drive our finances. So you spot on the in relationships. It's very important to know each other's oh, money yeah. archetype. Because a lot of arguments within couples are about money, sadly. Mm -hmm. And it's often simply driven by not understanding. Imagine you've got a care, right? And you've got the big shot. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine in that partnership, in that couple, if you don't know that's what's driving it, it can lead to a lot of argument. So in a non-judgmental way, just talking about my dominant one is the big shot. It's not necessarily wrong. The other person, my dominant one is penny pincher. How do we make it work together? Even in friendships as well. 
because it's important to understand among For friends sure. when we go out and perhaps we see someone who's spending all the time to try to pull them back. To rein them back in. Yes. And, it's, and it's not to say, I would, I would suggest a good way when you want to take the judgment out, is don't start with you telling the other person what their negative money habits uh, are. Yes. Rather start with your own. Explain yes. what you makes you nervous once you've discovered your own archetype and help your partner maybe discover their own. And then it's like you won't it's send a, a quarterback in to, to go and punt. You know, you, you horses for courses. You get the right person in your relationship, like a business, to be able to handle that. I love that. When you go to have this conversation with your um, financial advisor or your banker, how must that look? How do you get the right kind of partner finally in your corner, seeing as we've got connections to an organization that does understand these archetypes? When we form that relationship with our bank, what should be front of mind? I think for me the key thing is when you know your money personality or your money archetype, you've got a bit of that know thyself. What's driving my spending? Am I a planner? And when you're looking for a financial planner, you want someone who you, have a, you, can, you feel you can connect you with. You can talk to. Put yes. aside the qualifications, put aside the experience. You know, they need to be chemistry. They, they, because money is such a taboo topic, right? Mm. So you know, to have someone you can openly talk about money with, that's the important thing. So it's about just judging as you are having that first meeting with your financial planner and saying, yeah, I think we can connect. If not, there's nothing wrong with that. At NetBank, we'll arrange another meeting with another planner until you find that there's a bit of chemistry where I'm comfortable talking about money. And then once you have that, then it's easier. This is my money personality. My plan is to climb Mount Everest. I was looking at the <laughs> area. How do I put money aside for that? With someone you trust. I, I, my, now, my new goal in yeah. life is to be able to say, listen, I'm no Jeff Bezos, yeah. but I have a little bit of money. My call is, I want to climb Mount Kalimanjaro and I want to put a little bit aside for that. I love it, my friend. We'll see each other on the way up. Oh, friend. it's beautiful I love thing. That. Um, the journey towards financial freedom starts with thyself. I think we've touched on that. So evaluate your finances and your relationship with your finances and lean on the support of your bank because they very much are products and services designed to help ease your financial burden and give you access. Now, one such account in the brand new My Goals account range from Nedbank, and it offers incredible discounts on things you will spend on every single day and 50% off movie tickets. I don't know why that's the one that stands out for me, but I really do suggest you ask yourself those questions and then go and check out nedbank.co.za. Check this. This My Goals Plus account gives you cash back on groceries and 25 cents back per liter at BP. That's lit. Lit. <laughs> in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I <laughs>